everybody, I'm Tom Bassel. Welcome to a top 10 games about theme parks. Now, this is a, not a, a genre which has tons of games. In fact, I barely got 10 on here. I also didn't talk about theme park adjacency, like Baron Park, a park about bears, New York Zoo. Those are zoo games or things like that. So this is like a, a genre that's exploding right now. And I think it's funny because I think I reviewed one and someone said there's so many theme park games. Ah, uh, not exactly. If I was doing a top 10 zombie games or top 10 trading in the Mediterranean, there are 100 plus of each of those genres. This one, not so many. So here we go. Number 10 is Danger Park. This one's on the list because it's uh, funny more than anything else. The theme, you're putting together a park that you know is dangerous. There's a little too much randomness in the game for me. But if you like the idea of Action Park or uh, they, they made a documentary on it and having a park that you know is infested with bugs or has electrical shorts, this game has some great production. So that's Danger Park. Number nine is Coaster Park. Now this one I was extremely excited about. You actually roll marbles down the roller coasters you build. It's a decent game. It doesn't work as well as it should, by far. In fact, there's a lot of negative reviews about this online. And I will admit that my liking it is probably overly influenced by me wanting the theme. But Coaster Park still has some interesting ideas. Maybe someday we'll see uh, a game that does something like this, but better. Number eight is Troll Park, T-R-O-O-L Park. This one is the least theme parky of all of these. It's a kind of a typical Euro game to the point where it's like, it's okay trying to get just different rides in your park, but this really could be about anything. Number seven is Roller Coaster Tycoon, the board game. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon, the video game. The board game is fine. It's a mass market game as you buy these 3D different rides and put them around. There's a roller coaster and stuff. And then you're moving different people around trying to get them to come to your rides. It's not bad. Now, I know that's not a glowing endorsement, but it's definitely better than you might think. And if you find this one at a thrift store, it's worth, it's worth giving it a whirl. Number six is Arcadia. Now, this is a card game that many people probably haven't heard of, where you're just building a park in front of you, you have cards. And again, this one, the theme park is there, having inspectors and things, but it's more about getting the right cards in front of you at any given point. The, the, the box for this game is a nice square, and I thought this one did a, a good job. It's a solid game, regardless of the theme, but the, the amusement park theme doesn't hurt. Number five is Imagineers. This one did not get a lot of buzz. In fact, I never actually saw... The final, final copy of this, I saw an almost final copy. We played it here in the Dice Tower, and I really liked it. As you have this a, a park, and your people are moving around, and you try to get them to land on rides. It, again, very similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, but this one is done in a more professional way, a more modern board game way, and I thought it came together very well. Number four, Meeple Land. This blue-orange game is more of a puzzle than anything else as you are adding rides to your park and then trying to get the people to come and go to those rides, drafting a bus of people. This is almost uh, a sequel in many ways to Zuluretto, if you think about it, but I thought it works really well. It's a uh, very clean feel to it. It's a really strong game. Number three is Funfair. Now, I know for a lot of people, Unfair would be the one on this list. I didn't really like Unfair. Where you, it's a game where you're building these rides in your amusement park, but you're also blowing other people's rides up and doing negative things. Funfair is the same game, but without all that negative stuff, and I'm in for it. You are drafting and buying cards from the middle of the table and trying to make these amazing rides, and, or maybe you want a bunch of small rides or one huge ride, scoring points for it in different ways. It's certainly an entertaining game. Number two, Steam Park. Have you ever wanted to build a theme park for robots? That's what the theme of this game is. You're building it, but it has these three-dimensional little roller coasters that you're putting in your park. It's mostly roller coasters for robots who are dropping waste off of your park. It's a solid game. You roll some dice, you're taking actions, building up your park. Check it out. And number one is Wishland. This was recently reviewed by Z on our channel. This is, I think, the newest game on this list, actually. But I was really impressed with this game as you're slowly buying cards. And you want rides, and you want mascots, and you want food stands. And it has a real cool carnival look to it. But it's also a solid game of trying to move up on tracks and do different things. I, I was very impressed with this one, and I love to play it again.
So those are my favorite amusement park, theme park board games. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Star.